Well, hello. So today I'm going to address anti-Semitism. Yes, it's been a long time coming. I'm going to do it. I'm going to address anti-Semitism. So it, I was inspired by Sarah Silverman. This particular group of people decided to go after Sarah Silverman. So on just their posts. And then I decided to go after them. And the way that I decided to go after them basically got me flagged on Twitter. Because they're, you know, making up these lies about her. And then I'm reiterating the lies by the way I'm behaving, you know. Basically, they're calling her a witch. And I'm like, I'm going to use Kabbalah magic against you. Yeah. And, and it's like, don't do that. Don't do that. That's not nice. That's not Messiah mess mentality. You know, usually if something really upset you, so you're supposed to take three days. But it really upset her. And it's just like, as a kinship, you know, she's someone that inspires me. There's quite a few people that, that I love and I admire. And she's one of them. And I love what she does. She is a barometer of love for humanity. And she's really an amazing human being who creates positivity and brings people together into a mutual understanding of growth and love and i just really really appreciate her and i think she's doing so much more for humanity than these people who are you know did saying these things about her that are lies and it's just not cool not cool but it comes back to anti-semitism you know it comes back to people not liking jewish people and they basically, one of the main tenements of anti-Semitism is like, they killed Jesus. I was like, yeah, but, they, well, technically they didn't kill Jesus. Jesus knew he was going to die. So Jesus sacrificed himself as a Jew for humanity. So what? Yeah, exactly. Because Jesus was a Jew. Jesus was Jewish. So he sacrificed himself for the other Jewish people as well. What? Yeah, Jesus. And in no way, shape, or form was Jesus going like, you get that person. <laughs> no. That's not Jesus' message. So anybody who's, you know, out there saying, you know, hey, you know, do this to this person in Jesus' name, you're going to really pause yourself and be like, wait a second, hold your horses. What did you just say? That you want to cause harm on another person in Jesus' name? That's not going to, that does not, that's, that's, that's antichrist stuff. That's the antichrist message. You know, when people come in at you with, with violence against other people in the name of Christ, you really have to run. <laughs> so, and so anti-Semitism, it's just a horrible, horrible thing. And that, that, that brings a lot of pain and suffering to a lot of these people. These communities are out there, you know, trying to generate positivity for their communities. But why does the Lord allow it to exist? Now, we, in the caveat of understanding that the, everything that is the Lord allows to exist through our community with the Lord, with reality, with ourselves as a community. So we could really elevate this place in a wonderful way if we came together. But that's going to be really tough. Or is it? I don't know. Let's see what happens. So anti-Semitism, coming back to it. So people basically are jealous. <laughs> They're jealous of the Jewish people, of the Muslims, because they have the power. You know, they've learned the secrets. They're involved in their own little community. They're like, you know, they're working together and making a bunch of money. They're owning people. <laughs> and by owning people, it's like they own, like people work for them. They don't have slaves, you know. <laughs> they have people that war, do they? <laughs> in the sense that these people have nowhere to do but work for them. But is that a bad thing? I don't know. Those are all the questions. Those are all the questions that people run. And people are, are we going to be owned by the Muslims and the Jews? Those are the things that run through people's heads. Those are the fears that run in people's heads. And so do they have a secret? Yeah. They have a secret connection to the light of the creator, I think. Yeah, after studying Kabbalah, after going to the Kabbalah Center, after, you know, meeting people and whatnot and, and understanding different faiths, the more committed these people are to the light of the Creator, the more prosperous they are because the more light that that, and people are jealous of that. They want the quick way. They want the, I want it now. Or if I can't have it, you can't have it. And it's like, no. It, they're very, it's what you put in is what you get out. And the Hebrew letters, the internet, all of it is out there. You know, it's just, it's at your fingertips. And the, but the sense of community, I think that why does anti-Semitism anti still exist? Because there are still communities that will, that go through, that will not compromise. They'll be like, I will do no dealings with those kind of people and whatnot. And they keep specific rules and whatnot. And it becomes a little bit different, 
difficult for those people to move into the modern world because the modern world in the, the current world of the age of Aquarius is that the light of the creator resonates through everything and everyone. You know, so and that's one of the reasons Mary Magdalene, you know, the whole thing about the stoning and all that stuff, rather than stone somebody, bring them onto your ship, you know, be like, hey, well, come on down, you know. So all those elements. And so, again, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, anti-Semitism. Is it there? Is it not there? When I looked at the video, I was like, that's anti-Semitism. I'm going to go ahead and say it. It's whether, you know, that was back then, that was at that time, but and 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 maybe the references to those kind of things and utilizing those references. people just weren't empathetic enough to understand like didn't sit down and be like hey there might be a problem with this i don't know i don't know what the harry potter movies the positive element of the harry potter movies is that even though there may be some anti-semitic elements it has bridged that gap for us to understand that there's magic all around us that we if devoted as the jews are in our own particular ways with our learnings with other communities think of what all of us could do muslims jews regular people christians catholics all of them come together with their learnings with what they've practiced in communing with the light of the creator in love and understands like he is my wisdom and they welcome it they welcome it it's like you know these are our particular guidelines but here you can send us an email you know that kind of thing you know and they they take it into serious consideration so all those kinds of kind of things just bringing the faiths all together into oneness i believe is what's going to remove anti-semitism so yeah and you me you know constantly having the question and until it's over until we all have that divinity understanding and perhaps not even any names you know like any faiths we're not muslims jews or anything we're just at one with the light of the creator in in, in one particular code because we understand the code i don't know what the ascension is you know and to what degree we need to do the ascension you know ultimately i know that divinity division it it does not lead to divinity Divin division does not lead to divinity, even though they don't both have D's. Because the D's, they're not B's or A's, you know what I mean? So if one wants to ascend, once one needs to remove all their garments eventually, maybe you're not in this lifetime, maybe in the next lifetime, but progressively keep moving that way to the oneness that is one of us all. So is Harry Potter have anti-Semitic elements? I saw in the movies, yeah, I think so, but I think that the more positives outweigh the negatives that would happen. I think it builds people to understand, it's like, what's Kabbalah? What is this magic you speak of? Can I control the wind? I was like, yeah, you can control the wind. Can you control the water? I was like, maybe. Can you control the earth? Perhaps. Can you have safety? Maybe. Can I harm people? No. Well, you can, but, you know, do you really want to? Because what goes on comes around. All those questions. All those questions. So, does the Lord allow anti-Semitism? Yes, the Lord anti allows anti-Semitism as a, almost like a pimple. You know, it's like to the cyst that is the the division within humanity. So in order for, we can keep popping the pimple, you know, we can have the cops show up and whatnot and be like, hey, stop it. You know, you can't be doing that to synagogues and you can't be doing this, this, this. But ultimately... The, the cleaning will be from within, and we need to remove that bacteria element from inside of us all and be a unified whole and just make that little bit more of an effort on both sides, you know, for people to be like, hey, maybe Jews are awesome. Maybe Muslims are awesome. What is awesome about Jews? What is awesome about Muslims? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now, here is uh, I love you so much. And you stay this long where I want you to make your voice opinion heard and we'll take a poll. Is the word Jew bad? Is a Jew? Is the word Jew, like he's a Jew, is that word bad? And and I bring that up because I have two jokes that I believe are not anti-Semitic. So I'm going to give them to you as a free little bonus. Uh, first is, I have a joke, the Orthodox Jewish Church. Had the Orthodox Jewish Council has decided that Pokemon is their favorite video game because of their mascot pick a jew <laughs> my other joke is and jews like that is a new television show on hbo where jewish people sit around and talk about what they like <laughs> that's a callback to you know just like that from hbo and all that kind of stuff so what are your thoughts are those jokes inappropriate and it right are they appropriate? Are they nice? 
you do that they make you laugh? Is the word Jew bad? Is the word Jewish bad? What's this Israelite better? I don't know. I don't know. I pose all these questions to you and together we will come to the answers. I love you so much. You have stayed this long. You're so this are cute. Just cute opportunity. And so I wanna wish you a wonderful a wonderful, 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 wonderful eternity. And Transformers videos are coming, yes. Thank you for waiting. More fun stuff as well.